say, my God, they can say it openly now, what's next? No, you should get down on your knees and thank Prometheus that they are saying this out loud now. Dispensed with the excuses and the pretext that if too many of us are going free, they will begin to backtrack, move that goalpost again, and they'll start giving the excuses again, but you all the excuses and the arguments for how you get there. That's all that matters. That's all you need to know. You don't need to be any more uh, creatively nimble than that. Dispensed with the excuses and the pretext. Excuses and the pretext. Excuses and the pretext. And the pretext. that the anti-whites have reached. They use less and less sentimentalization of pretext, excuses to arrive at anti-white conclusions. They don't feel it as incumbent upon them anymore to do so because of the great power that they wield, both in the streets and in the offices of power. So now they just come right out and say, that is a good thing. Don't see that as a scary thing. Don't see that as a scary thing. You say, my God, they can say it openly now. What's next? That is a good no. thing. You should get down on your knees and thank Prometheus. Thank Prometheus. Thank Prometheus. They are saying this out loud now that they will dispense with thank Prometheus. The excuses and the pretext. Make no mistake, though, just like what they're doing with the anti-white slur racist. Once they see that too many of us are going free, they will begin backtrack move that goalpost again to backtrack move to that backtrack, goalpost again, move again that backtrack, backtrack again, again that goalpost thank prometheus that they are saying this out loud don't see that as a scary thing explain that any conclusion that is an anti-white conclusion you reject the excuses and the arguments for how you get there that's all that matters it's all you need